All right, so we're going to make some mayonnaise uh, up. So this is how fast you can make mayonnaise. And this is how the, there's a bit of science because there's actually no milk product in uh, mayo. It's just whipped oil. And so watch how it happens. It's gonna transform before your very eyes. <laughs> so I have in here my acid. So it call, you can use lemon juice or vinegar. Today I'm using vinegar and I'm making two cups of oil, like two eggs, so it's a double batch, if you will. So I have two tablespoons of uh, vinegar. I used a white wine vinegar today, or you would use two tablespoons of lemon juice. I also have two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and a half a teaspoon of salt. So that's in the bottom. You can see. Okay, kind of sludgy. All right, so then I'm gonna put my two eggs in here. So here's one egg and I'll put the second egg. Again, you always wanna put your eggs into an in-between container just in case you get eggshell or something. Um, okay, so two eggs. And then um, we pour in our two cups of oil. So I've never, until I used this immersion blender, I didn't realize that you could make mayonnaise this way because the other way to do it is put that in a blender and on kind of slow, you pour in a thin stream of um, oil. This way you put it all in and you let it settle. So you're gonna see the oil floats to the top and all your other stuff sinks to the bottom. How cool is this? All right, I'm gonna put this together. And then here's what we do, is we put this down in, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put it down in. I need to set it down because I need two hands for a quick second. I'm going to press the release button right here underneath. Basically that lets me run it. Okay, so now I am blending the egg and stuff at the bottom. You can see that I'm kind of rotating around. I'm gonna start lifting it up as I go. Right. I'm going to lift it up and what it's doing is it's pulling some of the oil in and it's emulsifying it so it's blending it with the other stuff. see that it's all emulsified it's all thick and mine is a bit yellowish that's just because the yolks of the hens are so dark and oops, I didn't wash the there's a little bit of Dijon on my scraper so I'm simply gonna scrape this off add it in and put it in a container in the fridge and that is it. We have a whole batch of mayonnaise made up. Is it cheaper? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if it's cheaper, um, but it's super convenient and um, I can make it anywhere, anytime. And I don't have to throw out a mayonnaise jar all the time. I just wash the jar, my glass jar. I use a, a, a choose a jar that has a big wide open top. So it's easy to access. And then this is just gonna go in the dishwasher. And look, mayo, it's all done. Just like that. I should stir in that little bit of Dijon. Beautiful.